Hello, and welcome back to another update on my Arduino powered iRacing dashboard prototype. I've made some more changes, some updates, uh, a lot more in the code department as well. Um, so over here we have a five digit RPM readout, a four digit speed readout with a decimal, three digit lap, and a three digit fuel lead, uh, readout with a decimal. Um, I got rid of the abacus style fuel because I had to think about it and that's just too complicated. Um, the shift indicator and the gear indicator are the same. I still got the brake and the throttle. These are all my warning lights. Um, I got some paper up here. The one that's on right now is the engine off. Um, also known as the engine stalled from the SDK. I just think of it as the engine is off. And then the uh, fuel and oil pressure warnings. The first yellow there is the water temp and then pit limiter and rev limiter. Um, so the way you, uh, everything is right now is uh, I've got iRacing website up on. The session isn't in. Uh, that's why we don't see anything on the dashboard uh, because the car is turned off and it's not available. There's no game available. So let's pop into a game. I'm going to get the skippy on uh, Lime Rock. So let's launch that. The Arduino is doing a little bit more work these days. <laughs> I actually had to jump up my power supply another 200 milliamps. <laughs> okay, so iRacing is loading. Oh, we got a car. Everything engages. Hello, sweetie. So, once I get a list of the cars and their RPM values, um, the fifth digit here, the left digit on my RPM, will be enabled or disabled depending on the car. So like the Mazda MX-5 and the Skippy, they only go up to what, six, 7,000 RPM. So there's no reason to have the left digit turned on. So that'll be uh, uh, disabled um, during runtime. Um, so of course we got our fuel gauge and our uh, speed with the decimals in there. Um, the same things going down there. You might notice I got a new board down here. Well, there's a button here. Watch what happens. Yep, it's a dimmer switch. So all of the lights have two settings. I'm uh, still going to mess with uh, the high setting a little bit. So, uh, you know, if it's really bright out, you can put them on high. Or if it's really dark out, you can put it on low. Okay, um, well, let's hop in the car. And uh, let's go do a lap. Whoa, don't watch the camera. Sorry, sorry, bad driving. I was watching the camera, not the road. The reason why I actually want to do a lap is I want to get around to the straights and uh, show you... Uh, uh, give you just a taste of some of the new functionality that I've been building into the code. Um, because the hardware is pretty much complete, again, minor changes for the hardware. Um, for example, I got to hook up a fan yet to keep everything cool because when it's inside the box, the dashboard box, which isn't square, um, it's going to get a little warm in there, so I got to make sure to keep things cool. Um, and then a few other uh, little bits of fun that are going to happen in here. So my brake and throttle bars still work as they always did in my throttle or my shift indicator. But I'm going to have to switch hands here. Okay. So let's go up to the straightaway and let's blow up the engine and see what happens when we blow an engine. Couldn't even blow up an engine. Now I'm all slippery. What? Well, that was that was a letdown. There we go. Yeah, notice what happened there. 
my warning lights came on, my engines uh, stalled, my fuel pressure, my oil pressure. <coughs> I mean, the car's toast, it got turned off, so all the lights went off, all the dashes went off. Um, oh, I missed one. I didn't turn my brakes or that off. Why not? Um, and the lap, I'm not really sure if I should keep the lap on or not. I'm going to keep that on for now because I want to know when I blow up my engine, but I'll probably turn that off too. Um, I don't know why that's on. That shouldn't be on. Okay, but that was fun. <laughs> now we got a new car. I'm still doing this one handed, so you know, can't go very fast. Okay, when we pull in here, it's going to end up refueling. So, just to show you a bit of fun with the numbers, keep an eye on the fuel gauge. Enough of that, let's get out of here. I got smoke coming out, but I didn't blow the engine again. <coughs> Did some damage though. Don't see any warning lights coming on. It's not running very well. Anyways, I can't blow up another engine. So there we go, here's the dashboard. Now if we just pop into the garage, we'll see it resets and, you know, it follows everything. Oops, that was the wrong button. Alright, that's, uh, that's all for now. Talk to you later.